Good morning. Eagle Nick Audit. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Step on up to the chat. Good morning. We are live at the Eagle's Nest this morning. How is everyone doing? Step on into the chat. Say hello. Anybody going to say anything? I don't see nobody saying nothing in that there chat. Now everybody's gone. It is a very beautiful morning. Sit here thinking about where to try to go to next. I think I might go back up to Hag Mill and see if I can catch any more of them big old bass. I wish there's some way I could have somebody with me who could actually hold the, the phone while we're trying to do the live stream. I'd like to be able to actually fish with a lure and y'all be able to see it. Thank you. 
Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone doing today? Did any of y'all happen to catch that bar video of that bass I caught? If not, be sure to visit my YouTube channel. You can see the largemouth bass I caught yesterday up there at the Hag Mill Reservoir. Now, I'm thinking about going back up there to try to do another video or maybe another live stream if I can figure out how that I may, I'll may i be able to fish and live stream at the same time where y'all could actually see the fishing instead of setting a rod out just with something for a catfish. I guess I need to make me some kind of strap holder that I can wear around my chest, just keep my phone strapped to me where I can live stream while I'm fishing. Now, if I did that, I would not be able to see the chat. But this morning, there's nobody said a word so far. Shows we have 19 people in here. Looks like I missed my usual crowd that comes in. I've been tinkering with the times that I do the live stream, and sometimes it works, but sometimes it hurts more than it helps. Now, we could end up doing some good videos or live streams out from Carter's Lake. Eventually, that is. It's a little too far to ride on my bicycle, but my cousin Helen had sent me a message on Facebook Messenger saying that she would love to go fishing with me sometime, so that would be a perfect opportunity for me to introduce my cousin and be able to go do some good fishing. Now, back in the day, we used to get to spend a lot more time with each other, but nowadays we've all got something to do and find it hard to actually go out and see the people we used to see, but we never forget them, if you know what I mean, Vern. Good morning to the 31 people that it is showing that is on the live stream. Eagle Nick Audits. We are live this morning at the Eagle's Nest. Just sitting here contemplating our next move. I want to try to do some more fishing videos or maybe a live stream. I got the TCL over here on the charger getting it charged up. Ninety-nine percent right now. Got one video uploading on my secondary channel. I 
I happen to like this phone. I don't think the phone is lagging. I think it might be your internet, maybe, or something. I'm on a home internet, so I do believe my internet is working just fine. And I'm not your grandpa. If I was, I would strap your ass with some hickories for talking to someone like that, not having no more respect for your elders, young man or lady, whichever you may be. I appreciate you hopping in that there chat, though. Well, hey, I sure appreciate it. That's how I try to be, just a chillin' like a villain. How you doing this morning? It ain't no lag. I just talk slow, brother. Now, my can of chicken noodle soup here is ready to go out and do another live stream. Keeps on saying, where are we going next? Where are we going next, Eagle Dick? I'm ready to go out and do one of them more live streams. You do the fishing, and I'll hold up the phone, and you get all the damn credit. You better make sure you tell them. This live stream is brought to you by Chicken Noodle Soup. It holds up a phone real good for us hillbillies. Hillbillies, them there chicken noodle soups is good for more than just to eat. You know what I mean, Vern? It ain't never been open that way. It's heavy. Now, you know, I could have been a smart hillbilly and ate all of that dark chicken noodle soup and put a big old heavy rock down in there or filled it up with sand, but Eagle Nick figured I'd just take it with me like it is, you know, not ever eat it that way if I'm ever out doing one of them there live streams. And I get stranded, I'll always have a can of chicken noodle soup to eat while I try to figure out how to get out of that dark situation I found myself to be in. So how you like that dar now? That just goes to show Eagle Nick Audits knows what he is a doing. But the chicken noodle soup is a viral part of this here everyday breakfast. You know what I mean, Byrne. I would like for y'all for you to y'all to meet my biggest fan. Y'all ready? I'll let you meet my biggest fan. And there it is, a comfort zone. That is my biggest fan. When that fan right yonder is pointing at me, it says I'm cute. You know what I mean? No matter what anybody else says, that fan says I'm cool. My day is going pretty good so far. I went out there yesterday and did a fishing video and a live stream. Now, I caught a pretty decent-sized largemouth bass. The video is on my YouTube channel. It wasn't very long because I was, you know, I'm not able to record a video while I'm actually throwing a lure because you have to have both hands for, on the rod and reel at all times. Know where to hold the phone with. I did it in that dark panoramic view to get the full screen effect, but you know, when I cut the short off of the minute and what it's over a minute long video, a minute 45, I think, was all I actually shot the video because you know, you don't want to keep a fish, especially a large mouth bass, out of the water for too long. So that way you ensure that it will not succumb to being brought out of the water and it will live and thrive. Get it back into the water as soon as possible. Now where I was fishing in the reservoir, you are allowed to catch 
so many catfish, bluegill, and crappie a day and take them with you, but all bass are catch and release, whether it be largemouth, smallmouth, striped, spotted, or rock bass. Now, on the live stream from the Hag Mill Park Reservoir, I did catch a small channel catfish using that there dough bait, stink bait, uh, shrimp, and chicken blood, and I had some chicken liver. Got a few bites. Good morning, Mr. Pooh Noah. How are you doing this morning? Now, you know better than that. Oh, Eagle Nick Audits doesn't use a rope to catch them dar goats. I just say, hey, goat, get your butt on over here now, you hear? And hey, them goats come a running. You know what I mean, Vern. A goat is the original hillbilly. You know what I mean, Vern? It takes a hillbilly to catch a hillbilly, really. Well, you have an awesome, awesome day, Mr. Pooh Noah, at work. Do, do not work too hard. Now, I'm thinking about riding back out there to that Hag Mill Reservoir to see if I can catch any more of them bass. I would like to catch about a 15-pounder to do a quick video on. Now, if I had somebody that was going with me that could record the whole time we was doing some fishing, you know, swip it switch it back and forth to record them fishing and then record me. Mike could put together a awesome fishing video, but when you are riding by yourself on one of them there bicycles, you don't really get to do that. You have to take come what may. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel then, brother. I've got that there video of that bass. I, I showed out there where I actually caught it at, out there fishing. I said I was going to fish around this structure, and I did. I had had one to buy over to the other side, but it had jumped up and through the hook, and I've noticed after I got through, I got one bent back hook and one bent front hook. Now, they're hitting it pretty hard when they're bending one of them bar hooks, but I was using this here booyah. Ah, oh, crap. Booyah, they got hung in the bag, y'all. That's why I didn't want to put this over here. This is what I called it on, a booyah. It's got yellow out behind it. Got a blue top, blue chrome. Check out this hook. Check out that hook that got bent. Now that was a hard bite right there. And then when I caught that other one, it bent that hook. See that bent out? But that first fish, it hit that and it about tore the hook off of it. But then it jumped up and threw that there hook. I see why it's over the hook, because it bent that hook. 
The fat hook had to got bent. I would have had two of them on that entire video, or two separate videos. Now, I probably won't stay on this live stream here very long because I'm contemplating, trying to figure out what to do, where to go. I think I want to go try to do some more fishing out there. It's not really the hottest part of the day yet, but by the time I get out there, it will be pretty well close to the heat index. Yes, sir, Mr. Pooh Noah, proud hillbilly. You know, they let me explain to some of them other people, Mr. Pooh Noah, about why I said that dark goat was the first original hillbilly. You know, goats, especially mountain goats, live on them dark mountains and in them dark hills, and a lot of people call them billy goats. For those who do not know, who might live in those urban or suburban areas, that they are called billies, so therefore they are the first hillbilly. Hey, I really and truly appreciate you coming on, little little roach man. You should make sure you spend as much time with your father fishing or just enjoying the time together as you can. I need to figure out a better way to keep my rod and reel attached to my bicycle to have a little better use of the bike. Coming back yesterday evening, I had the bike just straight down the frame and the, the handle, the reel, the handle of the fishing reel, it kept trying to hit my right leg. We just got a, one of them jingle jingles on that there TCL phone. Go over here and check it out. See how much longer it likes before it is fully charged. We got that dire thing fully charged. I'll be right back. I got to get this here video going on my secondary channel. I'm still here. I just can't see the chat right now. It will not take me but just a little bit here. First, I need to go make sure I
All right, we got that there video going now. So, is anybody else going to step up into the chat? Well, it does not look like anybody wants to say anything this morning. I guess you all are busy eating or smoking or doing something with them their hands because you are not actually in the chat. We've only had two people, Mr. Pooh Noah and Little Roach Man. Good morning, Carlito. How you doing? Eagle Nick Audit. Just sitting here thinking, where are we going to do that there next video? I'd like to go back out there to the Hag Mill Reservoir. I'm still trying to figure that out right now. I was just letting everybody know about the live stream I did out there yesterday. Damn, what was that? Let's see if we can hear. I think it was a garbage truck. Oh, grass. This is some de art deco I made. Got an end of a rock fishing rod sticking out of it and two arrows for my bow and arrow. Got the tackle all ready. If I can just figure out somewhere good to go, where it isn't too much of a strain trying to get all the tackle around on that bicycle. Yeah, I, I don't have my shirt on. I usually go without it when it's hot like that. You know what I mean, Burn? It's just too hot right now. There's my biggest fan. 
My biggest fan there says I'll always be cool in, in its view. Yeah, I usually stay without a shirt when it's hot. <clears throat> Shirts in my Crocs. I can hear my neighbors out here mowing the grass, is what they're doing. I thought it was a garbage truck. We'll see if we can get out here without all these cats getting in the way. I need to set my solar lights out in the sun anyway. There is one of them. The other one's right here on the front. You see it's real sunny right here on the steps. I just put them catching that good sunlight. That way I make sure they get a real good charge. Now I believe that is the county mowing out to here. That ain't my neighbors. Let's see if we can get a look at that big old giant mower they mow with if I don't lose my internet connection. See, this old phone here, it pulls that stuff in real good, boy. That's going to get up on the side of that lower ditch. Looks like it's going to come all the way back there to the starting of the fence there. Come back in, father going to take out that there mailbox. Hope there ain't no little cats laying out there nowhere. They'll get killed by that there blade. These cats like to lay in them ditches out through there. I hope they were smart enough to get out of there. But I'm gonna have to head back up the driveway. My cats are starting to come down here 
want to head this way. I don't want them to get run over. Throws a lot of grass on the road, which is bad. Now, if a motorcyclist comes down through here and happens to hit wet grass, you know, they could get hurt bad hitting wet grass on a motorcycle cause it slide out from under them. But it should not take it long for it to get dry because that sun is a beating down right now. Got all these cats want to come down this way when I come down here. That's why I have to be careful about live streaming out here in the yard. All them cats want to come follow me. Oh, now yesterday I found a blue jay feather up there at the uh, Hag Mill Reservoir. I didn't keep it. I left it there, but lo and behold, here's one laying in the yard. Them blue jay feathers is laying around in different places. Now I have one right up here in this tree that's gone. That hawk feather there has got way up. But I just put the blue jay feather in the end of the sign. It's party time. I got that there party ball hanging up in the tree. When it catches that sign just right, it throws off little reflection, retractions a lot everywhere. Now I have to keep an eye on these lights. Them doggone cats come down here and play with them and knock them around. Oh, that cat's in the basket, scratching at the basket. I thought it was a, I thought it might have been a, a woodpecker up, up on this big old pine tree right here. Well, that right there is a pine tree. You know what I mean. There's Miss Sheba. Oh man, there's a tree limb fell down here on that yellow rose of Texas. I'll have to I'll have to remove that pine tree limb before it causes it to break the bottom of that yellow rose of Texas. See if I can't get down here and move that. Ow, something bit the hell out of my hand, boy. Ow, I got stung by a fucking hornet. Son of a bitch. Ow, sorry about that. I just got stung two or three times by a hornet. Damn. Son of a gun, that thing hurts like hell. I thought that was a damn spider's nest with something in it, but there was a damn hornet flying around. It stung me two or three times on my damn fingers. Boy, they hurt. Got this and then this. Oh, man, it hurts. Ugh. Hello from Turkey. Thank you for... Oh, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in extreme pain. I just got stung two or three times on my right hand by a daggum hornet out there. Oh, crap. Son of a... That shit hurts bad, boy. Ugh. Oh, hell, it got this finger, too. I can feel three of them throbbing now. Oh, crap. Stung the crap out of my hand, right up in here, and right in here, and right up in here. Oh, damn it. 
I did not see it there. I thought it was something hung in a spider web. Good God, it was a hornet. It stung me three or four times. Son of a gun. Oh, crap. Boy, that hurts like a mother. Oh, I don't know how they ain't nothing you can do about it, I don't reckon. You can't, what do you do about a hornet's thing? It's going to hurt until it quits hurting. Oh, man. Go away, pain. I ain't got time for pain today now, daggammit. No, but don't make my hands swell up. Oh, boy, that hurts. Ah. Oh, man. Well, I would do that, Miss Christie, but that's the last one I got, and I'm not going to waste it on a little bit of pain, or a whole lot of pain, neither, for that matter. Son of a gun. Let's just open that damn hand. Oh. Oh. Son of a gun, that hurt like crap. I still didn't get that damn pine limb moved off that dog on Yellow Rose of Texas. Good God, I hope there ain't no damn hornet's nest down there. Oh, son of a gun, that hurts. And it was right under here I lifted this limb up. I lifted this little limb to go off down in there, and that thing was stinging the crap out of me. I mean... Look, there it is, right there on the damn ground. Let's find his eyes. There it is. See it flying around? That looks like it's a bunch of them down in there. It's on that pine cone right there. If I can get up here and get a look at him. <clears throat> I don't want to get damn close to it again. Mm. I know it hurts when a hornet stings a young hand. There goes that tractor. Well, I mean, see if you can see it. Oh, my damn fingers start to turn pink. Let's see. Oh, man. No, man, that limb's still there. There's that hornet. Oh, God, there's a damn hornet nest down there. There's one just flew by me. I see two or three of them down there. There was one just flew by me, man. They're little bitty hornets. Them ain't big ones, but damn, they hurt. They are aggressive, too, I tell you. Oh, God, that hurts. I'm telling you, that hurts like crap, boy. That son of a gun stung me about three or four times on about three of my doggone fingers on my right hand. Like I said, I moved this little limb right here. I grabbed a hold of this limb right here and pulled it back and stepped off down there. It's actually when I grabbed a hold of that pine, pine limb there that I got stung. So they must be a hornet's nest. I mean, yeah, a hornet's nest right down there somewhere because boy, they didn't want it moved. There it is. They're damn sure swarming in that area. Hope it gets hung up in there and dies. I was hoping that spider would reach out and grab it. Good morning, Greg Davis. How you doing, brother? 
I'm in severe pain right now. I just got stung three different places on my hand by a hornet. Three different fingers. I went off right down there to get that limb off that yellow rose of Texas. And they was a hornet got me good on my hand. I didn't realize what was happening. It stung me so fast. So many times. They done lift me up, brother. You ain't a lying. Oh, man. It lit me up good, boy. I still need to move that daggum limb, but I'm scared to go back down there now. I don't want to get stung no more. Three or four times is enough. I learned my damn lesson. I'm not scared of them, but it don't take me long to look at a hornet, if you know what I mean, Byrne. I don't see none of them flying around down there now, but I ain't going to take that darn chance. Oh, man. My damn hand is hurting like crap. I wish you could see where they stung me. They got me right in here. Looks like my damn fingers might be starting to swell up. Oh, right here. and Feels like way up in here, boy, I'm telling you. They got this finger, this and then this, and I think feels like they might have got all four of them. Oh, crap. Or they, I say they, but it was just a one, and it done a lot of stinging. Son of a gun almighty. And I'm sorry about that SOB I let out, but... Them hornet stings, when I get stung by one of them there hornets, I generally let it fly. I did not mean for that there word to come out. I apologize to anybody that might have been offended, but I can about guarantee doggone told you if it had been you that got popped that quick by one hornet on three or four different fingers on your right hand, that you would have let it out too. Well, good for you. You ought to try to put some of them there hornets in your porn. And you would have a buzzing story. You know what I mean, Byrne? We are not talking about porn. Oh, crap. And I could have ended this live stream when I got stung by that there hornet, but it ain't going to hurt no less if I keep live streaming, and it might not hurt no more. It's only going to hurt about the same, and I can tell you now that is a very strong hurt. Ah, son of a gun. No, I don't have no Benadryl, but I have a uh, that that PM stuff. It's got Benadryl in it. Maybe if I take two of them, it might help. Good God, that's a bad time to run out of cigarettes. I need a cigarette bad now. Oh shit! Shit, burn. Ah, I'm going to grab a couple of these Tylenol PMs. If I can open the bottle. I think I'm actually going to take three of them damn things.
son of a gun, boy. Damn, my hand is on fire, boy. I'm here, brother. I'm sorry. I was trying to do something about this daggum. Yeah, it's already stinging enough. I don't got any tobacco to put on it, or I would. That's going to screw up that darn fishing video. It, I can, ain't no way in the world I could hold no damn reel. And, oh, man, son of a gun. Oh. Didn't see that little stupid hornet, man. Now I know why they say madder than a hornet. That little thing got mad for some reason. I didn't do squat, but it stung the piss out of me about five times. Good Lord, this finger right here is just a throbbing. It, it stung me about right in here. Look, you can see that. Where the... Where, look, let me show you, look. Look at my finger, how you see a, the groove to here. This is my left hand. Now you look at my right hand, them grooves is disappearing up there. That's cause the finger swelling up. But look, them, that groove is gone right there, boy, look at there. Oh man, you talking about hurting. Oh, right there's a bee sting right up here. Oh, oh boy, you talking about hurting. I don't know exactly how many times that thing stung me. It got me a lot, boy. Oh. Damn, no bee. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of them there Japanese hornets and big old yellow and brown ones. Now, I ain't seen none around here here lately. I'll tell you what, I would be a, a little bit better if I had one of them there cigarettes right now. I'm going to see if I can round up one. I don't know. I know I ain't got none. Damn it. Y'all bear with me for just a second. I'm setting the phone down for just a minute. I'll be right back. Oh. 
You know what they say, it's all about the Benjamins. It's all about the Benjamins. Even that there Benjamin don't make my bee stings feel no better. And even when his buddy comes along, it don't make it no better. You know what I mean? It still hurts. You know, no matter how you stack it, you can stack it thin, or you can stack it thick, but that don't change the fact that them there bee stings, they hurt. They hurt like crap. And no amount of that there will make them bee stings stop hurting. You know what I mean, Vern? But it's what I've said, that it's the worst kind of bee that you can possibly get stung by is one of them there hornets. Because them hornets aren't relentless. Now, a hornet don't just sting you one time and say, I hope you learned that there lesson. Then daggum hornets will sting you repeatedly. Repeatedly. All right, I give Chef Ben Tweeney to go get us some cigarettes. I need a cigarette real bad. I'm smoking one of them dar Cheyenne cigars of his, but that don't help too much. I'll be right back here, man. I got to step outside for a little bit.
Man, I tell you, my hand is on fire. That hand is on fire. So good morning, Abdullah, Tommy, Christy, Greg Davis, Peter Moon. 47 Salva, good morning. Carlito, Little Roach Man, Pooh Noah. How's everybody doing? Where did y'all all go? Eagle Nick is back. Now I'm in severe pain. All them there little grooves in that hand in certain areas has disappeared. Now, it is not hurting as bad now because I took three of these here with diphenhydramine. It only has 25 microgram or milligrams. But I guess 75, if they'll ever, if it'll ever start helping, it might help a little bit. Sort of, sort of hard to light a cigarette using my right hand to try to strike a lighter. My fingers feel clumsy, don't want to work. But I just looked when I went outside and took Chef, Chef Ben's bicycle out of the basement. That hornet is still flying around right there in that same area, so I'm afraid they might have a hornet's nest there. I've never seen one before. Oh, boy, that hurt. To be so little, one of them there hornets sure can sting you. Dang me, dang me, that dang do hornet sting me. That thing could sting faster than I was trying to throw it out of my hand. I didn't know it was in my hand. Hell, it's like it was trying to go along for the ride. I'll tell you right now, them hornets does not shake hands very friendly. You know what I mean, Burn. Good morning, JD. How you doing, brother? Oh, Eagle Nick is in some extreme pain right now. I got stung by a hornet on these four, first four fingers here. Luckily, they did, he didn't get my thumb or she. I don't know if it's male or female. I didn't try to flip it over and inspect it or anything, but it stung like a bitch. I'd say it was a female. Now, YouTube, I'm sorry, but I had to say the truth. It did. It hurt. Good morning, Pisa. It was a pretty good morning till that there hornet got horny, decided it wanted to sting me on them there fingers. It's starting to look like little sausages. They hurt like crap. Hell, I barely can't close that. And You just be careful when you're pissing off that there bridge. Make sure there ain't nothing under you for one thing, but make sure you find out which direction that there wind is blowing. Or that there piece I could come back up on you if you know what I mean. I don't know if I'm allergic, but I don't like them any damn way. I'll take some of that there Benadryl. 
There goes that there mother again. Well, it ain't gonna hurt no less outside than it does in here, so let's go back out. I'll see if I can't see it. It was still down there, boy. What it was, that tree limb right here. I went to move that off that yellow rose of Texas bush. And that daggum hornet flew into my hand. I don't see it flying down there right now. It might be landed up on the underside of that there pine limb. Hey, J.D., how you doing this morning? I watched all of them there videos on your YouTube channel. There's that mower again. I'll try to walk down here if these cats don't follow me. You see that truck going by there is going a lot faster than 25 miles an hour. Even while there's a big old mower sitting on the other side of the road mowing, they don't slow down. There's been a police officer parked over on the other side of the road before, and cars still come flying by, going around them on the wrong side of the road. See, they're mowing the side of the bank now. Brother, don't tell me what to do. It's my fucking yard. You go on. Don't wave me away, dickhead. Waving me away like I got to get back in my yard. I don't gotta be in my yard. This happens to be my our property, right all the way down. Gonna wave me back up like he thinks he's my boss. And I'm sorry about that there cussing. Dude gonna tell me to go back up in my damn yard. Don't know who he thinks he is. Waving me off. What's up, brother? Waving me off like he's, he thinks he's going to tell me I can't be down here by the side of my road. Cut this shit down. Look. That shit falls out here in the middle of the driveway. Hope there ain't no damn hornets on it. Out there waving me off, telling me to get kept waving, telling me to go back up into my yard. Now I'm sorry about that there. A little bit of profanity. I know it got a little bit extreme there for a minute. He held up his arms like, what are you doing?
Good morning, Pat. Hey, Eagle Nick is hurting right now. I got stung on this hand by one horn. It stung me about four or five times on each one of my fingers. They starting to feel a little bit better, though, because I took some of that there Tylenol PM with that there Benadryl. You see over yonder, they got a sign saying Mowers Ahead. Well, they do a good job of mowing right there side of the road and the bank down to there, but you know, you ain't got no right to be telling me to go back up my damn driveway. You know, they ain't no race. Look at this jackass. You see what I mean? This car is flying down to here. Got a big old mower sitting on the side of the road. Running about 40 mile an hour. Sound like they kicked it when they got on out the road. I hope old Chef Ben gets back with them there cigarettes pretty quick. I sure hope he don't wait until after lunch to come back because I do not want to sit here for over two hours waiting to get a cigarette when all I got is the rest of this here Cheyenne of his. That little cigar, you know, they're not all that good to someone who smokes a cigarette. Now I gotta head back up that way. I got my cats coming running. That's what I said. I get down here by the road or even out in the yard sometimes. They wanna come running down here in the road. Now he's backing up to take another swat at that there grass. So we're gonna head back up in here so he don't say something else and make old Eagle Nick even madder than he had a while ago. You know, I'm just trying to see what kind of job they are gonna do. He's doing a good job, I might add, of doing that darn mowing. But you know, he didn't do too good of a job there trying to tell Eagle Nick on it where he can and can't stand on his property it ain't like I'm so damn stupid that I don't know that that thar big old lawnmower blade might do a little damage to you if it got close to you. You know what I mean, Byrne. It ain't like I'm completely ignorant. Now, he might think I let them thar ignorants, but it, I'm not that ignorant anyway. It ain't like I said, hey, you come on down and sting me, B. Come on and sting Eagle Nick. That B decided it wanted to sting me, and it stanged me. That baby sting me good. That B was singing, dang me, dang me. I found someone to sting me. I bet it's back over there waiting on me to come move that damn limb, but that limb can stay there now. I don't care. I ain't touching that damn limb now. Because I saw it come back. That damn hornet come back. It was up under that limb, I guess. I was trying to get it off that yellow rose of Texas right there. It's got it pretty bent down. It's already about to die on that one looks like, but the other's got another branch come out. But that has a good green tip out there that grows off of it. But I'm scared to mess with it because I know that daggum hornet's down there somewhere. There he is. That dirty dog's still down there. There it is flying around that there pine cone if I get it on it. There he is right there. That's that daggum mean old nasty hornet. 
Sitting there on that pine cone. That's a nasty little hornet. That hornet was horny, if you know what I mean. It was horny for eagle nick. Where'd it go? There it is. There's that old nasty hornet. There it is. There you are. There, you got a good look at it now, boy. That baby's hiding up under there. Uh-oh. There's one just flew by me. There it is. That baby's mad about something. Where'd it go? There it is, back over there. Where'd it go? There he is. It's landed on that little limb right there. See it? There's that old nasty hornet. That's a mean old hornet, boy. Okay. It's flexing. sharpening that there stinger wanting to try to sting me again. Now, I'm not going to try to get no closer. I done got sting a, new, a few times. I don't want to get stung no more. That baby, uh-oh, it flew off. I wasn't looking. I don't know where it went now. I'll say to hell with that lamb now. I ain't about to screw with that lamb. It just don't take me long to look at one of them there limbs. But it takes me even less time to look at one of them there hornets. Time to get my drinks out of here. Oh. Hard to even open the door up. Telling you. Oh, man. My doggone hand is on fire. That stuff is fire. <sighs> that is one thing I do not like is them there bees. Good morning, KYRI. How you doing? Good morning, Blake. I think it says Blake. Let's check it out. Blake Miller. Good morning. Pisa. JD. Pat Trevino. Pat Travellino. Dustin. Christy Rivers, glad to see ya. Tommy Abdullah, Craig Davis, Peter Moon, 47 Saba, Carlito, Little Roachman, Eagle Nick Audits, would really like to thank y'all all for being here. This morning, them daggum bees, dang them.
what is so bad about it, that damn bee didn't sting me about three or four times before I even knew what was going on. It had me discombobulated to where I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even realize I then got over and tried to pick up that our pine limb, that pine tree limb. I thought maybe I grabbed a hold of something in a spider's web, but I went, there wasn't no spider's web. I moved that one little limb back, went over there and picked up that damn pine tree limb, going to try to carry it off, and all of a sudden my hand was on fire. That there, somehow I closed my hand up with that damn hornet in my hand. It just went to sting, 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 sting. Just kept sting, and finally I threw it, threw it down. I got tired of holding on to that there hornet. Them there hornets gets real horny early in the morning, I guess. Yep, it is 10 a.m. in Dalton, Georgia. Ten oh one, August the fifteenth, Thursday. Twelve oh one a.m. That's what they say. It's midnight somewhere. That's something you got to realize. Every hour on the hour, it is midnight somewhere on this planet, on the earth, because we have 24 time zones. So every hour on the hour, it is midnight somewhere. Now, I hope old Chef Ben gets back for long. If we don't come back by 1030, I'm going to have to end this and take off because I do not want to sit here until t after 12 o'clock waiting on him to bring me back them bar cigarettes. You know, I know they serve lunch at 12 o'clock. At least I hope they do up here at Greater Work so I can go eat lunch. Now, I ate lunch up there at Greater Works yesterday, but Chef Ben said they went to serve and serving dinner, so I did not go. I went up there and did that live stream at the Hag Mill Reservoir. But lo and behold, this morning, Chef Ben informs me that they did serve up there at Greater Works yesterday. So I did miss out on that there dinner time. Yep, it takes 24 hours for the sun to make a full revolution around over the earth. You know, it don't go up and down, it just goes around. The sun, the moon, and the stars has a fixed path that it they encircle 24 hours a day. Boy, my old hand. Ah, hurts to try to bend my hand. 
I might be able to hold a rod and reel fish. Now I don't know. I guess ain't the only way to know would be to try. Looks like I might have to get ready to haul ice. It's done been already about 30 minutes that I've seen Chef being off to the store, you know. I, I thought he would know I wanted him to go to the store and come back. But now he is the type. He would go up there. He would just hang out in that area until after he eats lunch. And if I do not prepare and go up there, I won't have no cigarettes or no lunch until I see him. And then I'll just have them there cigarettes. I won't have no lunch either. There is no sign of that there ship then. I do not see them anywhere around. I don't really know actually how long he's been gone. I know he's been gone at least 30 minutes. Need to make sure I turn that there uh, video on the Creative Commons. Boy, I sure do wish he'd get back with them bar cigarettes. It is a pain in the neck waiting on them there cigarettes to get back. Good morning, Miss Jessica. How you doing? Hello, Dino. Now, Eagle Nick got stung in this hand on all four fingers by a hornet earlier. Got my hand hurting pretty good. Did not feel like riding that darn bicycle at the time because my hand was hurting so bad to go get some cigarettes when I ran out. I set that there Chef Ben off him. Oh, he's back. There's his back. Chef Ben is back, so I will have a cigarette now, I'm glad. I hope he don't get out there messing with them hornets. Let's go out here and see what's happening.
Yeah. Right in All right, Eagle Nick's finally gonna have my cigarette. I'm gonna set this down here. I'm gonna set this down right here while I open the pack. I'll be right back. All right, <coughs> got him. Uh. Let's see, it is a uh, 10, 11 minutes after 10. We just now opening that pack. Got, a, got an awesome movie coming on right now on YouTube that I was watching some of my videos on a YouTube channel. And the video ended. Now it's showing that dire movie, Sink the Bismarck, from 1960, I think it said. I think a pack of Marlboros is about $8. Now, these 24-7 Red 100s are three ninety dollars a pack right now. They used to be right at $3. They went up nearly double under that their Biden administration. I'm going to drink me one of these here little drinks at Mountain Lightning. Set it back down here for just a minute. Oh, man. Oh. That's the thing about it when a hornet stings you. It hurts like crap when it stings you, but that pain don't go away for a long time. Good googly moogly 650 for generics. Dang, Enzy, that seems a little bit high there. I don't see how people could live out there in that California. You might have to have some of that there Beverly Hillbilly money to live out there, looks like to me.
No, I think that means 20 packs. See, in the United States, they just sell them in cartons of 10, but they might sell them in cartons of 20 in the U in Australia. Are you saying, though, are you saying $45 for a single pack of cigarettes? Good God Almighty. Damn, I believe I'd be smoking them dark kangaroos then. I don't think I'd be smoking any cigarettes. Good Lord Almighty. Well, I don't see how anybody be able to afford to smoke. You have to damn take, go to the bank and take out a loan to buy a carton of cigarettes over there then. Yeah, right now in the Georgia prison system, the Georgia Department of Corrections, a pack of cigarettes is going for a hundred dollars a pack because they banned cigarettes and all tobacco products in prison back in uh, 2010 or somewhere around there. They, they've had them out of the prison for about uh, quite a few years. Of course, they are plenty smuggled in, people getting rich off of them. Good googly moogly. Damn, that's a high, high, high price to pay just to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, that must be just because that all that stuff is imported into Australia. You know, I don't think they produce tobacco in Australia, do they, Pisa? Yeah, they always say on that Foster's beer commercial that they make it in Australia. It should be a lot cheaper if they produce it there.
I hear that. Peace out. Australians don't drink Foster's. Good googly moogly. Shit, I would never visit Australia then. Ain't no way in the world unless I could take my own cigarettes with me because I damn sure wouldn't be able to buy none over there. I'm going up there to eat too, so you ain't got to worry about being late. They serve early today. You going to Providence or Greater Works? Greater Works. I'm going to bring the sheriff up there. Yeah, go ahead. You want to take one out yonder? I got I the keys. Hi. Uh, there's more space out there. Well, there's the key. But they show them this key. There we go. Yeah, we, we call them package stores or liquor stores. Uh, I'm not worried about them copying that dark key. If they come through the door, they won't go out the same way they come through. You know what I mean? Stand your ground in Georgia. And we also got that our self-defense. Walk in. They might walk in, but they'll go out feet first. I don't know what made that daggum hornet so mad out there this morning. That baby is mad as hell. He just stung the crap out of my hand. 
It's a little bit swollen. It ain't as bad as I thought it would get. Gonna make it hard to try to do any fishing for oh, for a little bit. Now, my hand touched that cold bottle there a while ago, and that hurt like crap. You dang sure don't want to try to take a sting out of a hornet sting with nothing cold, because it just makes it hurt worse. Yeah, I wasn't trying to pet it. I was trying to move a tree limb. It fell on my mother's yellow rose of Texas bush. And that darn hornet, it got in my damn hand. I didn't know it was in there. I didn't know it had done stung me until it done stung me about five times on, the, on all four of these fingers. Luckily, it didn't get my thumb. You know, we all have an opposable thumb, but my thumb is really opposed to getting stung, if you know what I mean, Byrne. Hey, everybody. This is Eagle Nick Audit's thumb right here. How y'all doing today? Eagle Nick would appreciate it if y'all would hit that there subscribe, like, share, and comment on as many of them there shorts, videos, and past live streams that you possibly can and or will. Now, if you would also let them their ads play so Eagle Nick can make a few pennies every day paid by them their advertisers to that their YouTube, Eagle Nick would really appreciate it. And so would Eagle Nick's thumb. You know what I mean, Vern? Now, the fingers over there, this and that one, that one, and that one, they don't really give a damn no way right now because they're hurting. But it is what it is. You know what I mean, Burn? Y'all boys is going to have to buck up, suck it up, and get over it. You know what I mean, Burn? Life happens. Shit happens. Sometimes it hurts, but... That's how it is. This is Eagle Nick's thumb. And now back to that dark Eagle Nick. Oh, it. Hey, I'm going to tell my fingers a joke. Hey, fingers. What hurts like hell, flies real fast, and a stingy whether you like it or not. Give up. It's one of them there hornets. <laughs> hornet, hornets. That hornet was a little bit horny for eagle nick. Oh, it. Get off of me, you daggum damn hornet. What the hell are you trying to do there? I didn't bother you. Leave me be, boy. If you don't like the way I'm living, you just leave this long old country thumb alone. People talk about me and say I've done them wrong, but Eagle Nick, all it's my right his own damn song. Then they can't say I stole it. Maybe just the music. Yak, yak, yak. Don't smoke crack. Hey, fingers, y'all want a thumb razzle? Ha, ha, ha. We gonna thumb razzle. I bet I can beat y'all's ass now, boy. You better watch who you're messing with. That damn hornet knew not to sting me. I'm too big for it. You little puny fingers, though, he's taking the piss out of y'all. You know what I mean, Byrne? Eagle Nick on it.
People say I'm no good, I'm crazy as a loon. I'm a thumb in the morning, I'm a thumb in the afternoon. This here's what you call thumbing your nose up at your own fingers. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, boys, why don't y'all leave them damn hornets alone? Say what? It don't take you long to look at one of them thar hornets. Well, that's why I went looking. I done saw them. I know what they'd do. You better leave them hornets alone. They get horny. Well, I'll tell you what, that thar, Mr. Pisa. Eagle Nick shouldn't have got out of bed so daggum early, if you know what I mean, burn. If he'd have laid in that dark bed like I told him to, he said, hey, stay your eyes over there. Don't get up. Where are you going? You ain't got nowhere to go yet. Lay back down. You know what I mean, burn. But, oh, no. Oh, Eagle Nick won't listen to his dark thumb unless he's wanting to pick his nose. Hey, Tom, quit telling my damn business. Hey, Eagle Nick, I'll say what I damn want to. Free speech, remember? First Amendment of the United States Constitution. Yeah, man, but you ain't got to be telling them all my damn info out there. You know what I mean? Well, I don't really tell them what I want to tell them. You don't like it. You know what to do. You kick rocks. Thank you so much for that there $2 super. You are so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, Eagle Nick has them there super thanks, but he don't never ask nobody for them because he thinks y'all are the ones that are super, if you know what I mean, Marlon. I really and truly appreciate it. I give it a big thumbs up for that dar super. All Eagle Nick, all oh, it's ever asked is people let them their ads play, you know what I mean? They are greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated though. Congratulations on that 20th super. That is so awesome. Eagle Nick Audits is honored that you chose me to be number 20. I am truly blessed. Eagle Nick Audits always loved to th listen to that there song about the Vegemite sandwich. Can you hear, can you hear that thunder? You better run. You better take cover. Yeah. I come from the land down under. But I must tell you that uh, there's no land down under. We are all on a fixed plane. Now, if there was a top and bottom, if we were actually a globe, there would be certain parts of the earth that would never receive any sunlight. How much sunlight we receive depends on the path of the sun, the stars, and the moon. They have a fixed course from which they follow at all times. They do not deviate from that path since the beginning of creation. Dang, my ears so stopped up at one on. It won't unstop. I guess one of them hornets done stung me down in my ear, if you know what I mean. 
But I really and truly appreciate everyone that's came on to this here live stream. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it, get ready to go up there to see if I can acquire some lunch at that there greater works of Dalton. I pray that you all have a big, awesome day. That would be Mr. Paul Hogan, who played Crocodile Dundee. Good day, mate. Crocodile Dundee be the name. I heard that there, darling. I didn't. Oh, Eagle, it wasn't looking for them there hornets. They came looking for me. Now, usually them there eagles can just eat a hornet at one snap, but oh, Eagle, Nick audience was ready to throw it away when it was in my hand. I had that there hornet flying around. I didn't know it. Boy, it was mowing down on old Eagle, Nick. But I should be back sometimes, sometime between 12 and 2 p.m. I'm going to try to do another live stream. But if not, I should be back around 7 p.m. Thank you so much. Peace, I. Peace, brother. Everybody, make sure you take care of yourselves, but take care of each other. If you see somebody that looks like they're struggling or hurting, don't just pass them by. Do not just turn a blind eye or a deaf ear, for you never know when that cry for help will be you and you might hear. People pass them by or just go the other way. They won't even talk to you. They don't have nothing to say. But we are all called to love thy neighbor as thyself, to treat everyone how you would want to be treated. Treat them how you would want someone to treat your mother or father or your brother or sister or just anybody that you love and hold dear. Until next time, this is Eagle Nick Audit saying, I am. What was my name again? Oh, yeah. Eagle Nick. Where am I going? What was I going to do? I forgot them there hornets has got me distracted. Oh, yeah, I remember now. And I'm out.